All right. So basically, I just made some changes here in the size just to make it look a little bit better to fit in my radio button. And in here, I will just say large. And that's worth, let's say, 45 dirhams. And I will change the variable name into the L radio button. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this. So I'm going to go ahead and run. Okay. I have my application and I have my radio buttons. But of course, I have a problem. Radio buttons, they allow you single selection, but in here you can see that I have, uh, or I can select them all. Well, the reason is very simple. Imagine that you have on your um, form or in your application more than one group of radio buttons. So the application needs to know uh, which radio button belongs to which group. So for example, I have here uh, the size and I can select only one from this group. So there is the concept of grouping. Maybe I have another group of radio buttons um, and I'm checking if, uh, for example, which city or which gender or any other kind of single selection. So I should be able to select the city in that group and the size in this group. All right. So let me close this and try to fix this problem. If you take a look here at the swing controls, you will find the button group. As soon as you drag it, actually, you will see that the button group, let me just show you a little bit here. Resize. Okay. The button group is actually added not on the main panel or in the frame view, it's just a uh, logical group so it's not a control that you actually uh, see all right and I will just change the variable name into the size so for example later I can have another group called the city button group and so on okay now that I have a group I need to tell my application that these three uh, actually belong to that group okay and to do that i will select those two and i will say properties and i will choose the button group here to be the size button group okay since i've already added it it's available the reason i didn't choose the third one is simply to show you something okay small medium as soon as i check one the other one gets unselected now take a look at the third one, no problem. It's a different group, all right? So no conflict with the large, and that's the problem that I will fix right now. Again, I can do it from here, or I can do it from these properties right here, all right? So this now is fixed. Take a look at it. Okay, another thing I will do because I am business and businesses usually like to make money, the initial selection would be the most expensive, of course. So I will check this and tell my application that this should be selected. Take a look at the properties. There's a property called selected. I will go ahead and check it. By default, it's false. And right now it's true, okay? So what happens when I start the application this is selected, all right? And I can, I can select any other size then. Okay, right now I will go to the toppings uh, tab and I will go ahead and add my, what, checkboxes. Okay, the first checkbox, I will say olives and the price is only dirhams for this topping and I will add another one and I will call it pepper and the price is a little bit cheaper for pepper two dirhams and 
change the variable name this is the pepper checkbox and this is the olives checkbox and I need two more so what I will do add two more okay this is a good place for it uh, yep yeah. okay this one let's say mushroom and it's for their hands and rename it into the mushrooms checkbox and finally for the non-vegetarians we can add meat and this is of course a little bit expensive as you notice and I will rename the variable into meat okay uh, everything looks good maybe I can just uh, make some changes here okay these two are okay okay just to make sure that they look nice uh, aligned okay right now my application uh, looks fine I'm ready to program it let us get started so what do I need to do well I need to program like always we program the button what, what's the action when I click it what will happen event programming uh, but I also need to program the events that are associated with my checkboxes okay and of course with my radio buttons okay so for the first time I'm pro programming events other than uh, buttons or command buttons all right so what I will do I will uh, leave my button to the end and right now I will start with my radio button so I will choose the first one right click it choose events like I did for the button and choose the action performed so right now the event associated with this button is basically when you select it okay so what do I want to do I want to do something when I select it um, this is the idea I will have variable called price and depending on what I select which one of the radio button I will set the price to be equal to the price of that size okay and by default the price is what is 45 so I will go ahead and go to the end of my variables here and start adding my own variables so here I just put a comment and start here I will add a double private double and I will call my variable price and I will set it to be equal to what the price of the large one why because it's the one that is initially selected 45 okay I chose double simply because um, you know you maybe you want to set the price to a double instead of an integer later so I'll be ready for that okay so price if this the small one so the S radio button is selected what do I do price is not 45 anymore but it's equal to 20 okay 